Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's Over the Music, it's What Makes This Song Great, episode 110. Now, four years ago, in January of 2018, I started this series with a song called All the Small Things by Blink-182. I just went back and watched that episode and I read some of the comments and somebody said, wow, I can't believe he started the series with a song called All the Small Things. And it's really all the small things that make songs great. It's kind of the how all these things put together. In that song, there's this really interesting keyboard part in the chorus that goes perfectly with the three-part harmony that they do. Well, today we're also going to do a Blink-182 song off the same record called What's My Age Again? This record was produced by Jerry Finn and mixed by Tom Lord LG. And I just wanted to say this uh, Jerry Finn was a great, great producer. The sounds on here are killer. He had an untimely death, really young guy. Tom Lord LG really mixed this record well. I mean, this is a rock record that is just perfectly done. Everything about the album is, is fantastic. All the drum sounds, the guitar sounds, the bass sounds, the vocal sounds and the blend of the mix. So I just want to throw that out there before we start. Uh, the song begins with a cool riff. Let's talk about that riff. So it starts with this major seven chord with the, without the third. So. love about Blink is they always have these slightly these dissonant chords there that give it a melancholy feel. They always have a melancholy feel, especially on their best songs. And this is no exception. So right off the bat we get this chord which has this major seventh interval that's dissonant and it makes it sound sad. Right? Listen. Okay, so what's great about this verse melody? Let's talk about that before we talk about the amazing drum part that happens there. This is how you write perfect phrases. I took her out, there was a Friday night, I walked alone. Right there. That is twinkle twinkle little star basically. That's a perfect melody. Goes up and comes down. Question and answer, antecedent, consequent, whatever you want to call it. When I interviewed Sting, he talked about melodies like that. That's what makes melodies great. When I interviewed Pat Metheny, said the same thing. These are what make melodies great. And then you have the incredible drum fill that happens right there. Now, why does he do that? Well, because it actually builds tension. Listen. Turn on the TV. So you have this little uh, tension that happens in the drums. Listen. Straight drums. So that moment of tension creates that excitement for the chorus that's going to happen. It kind of goes into a halftime feel there. Listen to it again. And then we get right into the chorus. And it's a simple four chord chorus. I'm tuned down to half step. <laughs> Love it, right? That is really the basis of all this like pop punk stuff. This kind of a chord progression. One, five, six, four. And it just sounds massive. Listen to the guitars when they come in here. They they're just they crush. Listen. The other thing is the bass. Listen to the bass. The bass is, has a beautiful... Oh. 
All those gaps are perfectly played, and that is what creates the momentum for it, too. If it wasn't that, if it didn't quite have those little breaks in it, it wouldn't push the rhythm. Because it leaves a hole for the snare. Listen. That is just brilliant. Now, are they really thinking that? Yeah, probably they are, actually. Or Jerry Finn might have said, you know what? You should actually shorten that up and leave that little gap for the snare to play in there. It makes it way more powerful. He could have played... But he didn't. He left that space. The snare pokes through, and it makes the chorus, to me, way, way more powerful. Now, listen to it in context. You won't even notice the bass, but you'll notice... The snare, listen. And those drum fills that Travis plays there, listen to the drum. Then this time, fast. Woo! I love how he goes, he goes, bam, bam, and he does the snare and the toms together. Then he does that cross rhythm there again. What's my age again? What's my age again? And the snare really goes with the vocal. What's my age again? What's my age again? Really? Hell is ADD. My friends say I should act my age. What's my age again? What's my age again? It starts out as a cross rhythm with the vocal, and then it kind of goes with it in the second. Hell is ADD. My friends say I should act my age. What's my age again? What's my age again? And right at the very end of the chorus, Mark goes to a chord and the bass. This is a thing that he does. This is like a blink signature, is his chords. He does it in all the small things. He plays power chords in the chorus, which in a three piece makes it sound massive. Now listen, listen in context. When that chord hits, it just makes the low end massive, especially because it's a held chord. Listen. Then they suck down into the verse with the palm muting. Listen. Listen. The drums. Listen. Listen how tight the palm muting is too in the guitars. So good. Let's talk about the harmonies that happen in the chorus too. Because this is really what makes Blink so great is their harmony parts. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. And I'm still more amused by TV shows. What the hell is ADD? My this is great here because they do a listen. TV shows. Da, da, da. So it's like unison. Then into a third there. TV shows. And that with the main vocal. Listen. Use my TV shows. Between the main vocal and the harmonies, right there, it goes from a sixth to a sixth. And a third on top. So it's really a D, would be like a D chord, D flat, it's two down and a half step. Listen. Here's my TV shows. What the hell is ADD? My friends say I should act my age. And then you notice that the vocals in the chorus are doubled. And that's about the time she walked away from me. So it starts with a single. But then I turn on the TV. And then double. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. Nobody loves you when you're 23 And I'm still more of you, but thank 
Great drum part. And then, let's break it down. Beautiful. So during that bridge part, Mark goes into chords again. Check it out. But he's playing them picked. Let's let's do it with a guitar. So just having that little picking part in the guitar, just one part, and then having the bass playing chords, having those uh, fifths or power chords, it just makes it so full, but it's just a simple, simple part. And then the drums. So in the pocket. Now we actually have a keyboard enter here. Check this out. Listen. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're organ. 23. That's Roger Manning playing the organ on that, who was in Jellyfish. He also plays the synth part on all the small things. It really makes the chorus happen. But this is the only part where keyboards come in is this part here. And that's about the time so she walked away they... from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. And you still act like you're in freshman year. What the hell is wrong with me? My Ooh. friends say I should act my age. What's my age again? That's about the time that she broke up with me. No one should take themselves so seriously. Beautiful. With many years ahead to fall in line. Why would you wish that on me? I never want to act my age. What's my age again? What's my age again? That part really makes that last chorus happen. Let's hear it in context again. Listen. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. And you still have to do it fresh in here. What the hell is wrong with you? Kind of hear it in there. You can definitely hear it when the picking is going on. Just that lush kind of undercurrent that's happening there make the song even more moody and more melancholy. That's the beauty of Blink is that melancholy, sad vibe that they have in their songs, especially on this record. This record was so well done and it recorded perfectly and mixed perfectly. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. The drum fills are amazing. And then these harmony parts that happen here, check it out, listen. That's about the time that she broke up with me. No one should take themselves so seriously. With many years ahead to fall in line. Why would you wish that on me? I never want to have my age. What's my age again? What's my age again? And then the very end, we hear this. What's my age again? Da, da. So you hear that, that, that sus2 chord, beautiful sound. What's my age again? It's all those details like that, the small little things, all the small things that make that song great. 
That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment. Check out my new Quick Lessons Pro guitar course that just came out. Also, the Beato book if you want to learn about music theory. That's how you do it. And check out my Beato ear training course at beatoeartraining.com. And don't forget, if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks so much for watching.